Hey guys, my name is Kathleen. I'm an avid Pacific Northwest day hiker, solo long distance backpacker, backpacking coach woman, and the hungry hiker here on YouTube. This summer, I've been solo hiking the Pacific Crest Trail heading southbound. I started my hike from the Eagle Creek Trailhead at the Washington, Oregon border back in July with a few of my students from the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System. I said goodbye to the group at Timberline Lodge near Mount Hood and have been hiking south solo ever since. In my previous video, I had just gotten into Mammoth Lakes for a zero day since I was feeling really tired and needed a break. After checking into my motel room, I did all of my town chores like laundry, charging all of my electronics, back plush my water filter, washed my dishes, took an Epsom salt bath, watched some TV, and literally ate my way through this town with some delicious town food. Mammoth Lakes is also where I decided to end my hike this year. Here's why. As of getting here to Mammoth Lakes, I've completed 981 miles of the PCT. And when I originally decided that I was going to do this hike this year, I had no expectations. I was not glued to any particular outcome. I was just going to come out here and enjoy my hike and hike as many miles as the trail would let me and really as many as my body would let me. It was really important to me this year that I do this trail southbound because this is the five year anniversary of my first northbound through hike and I love this trail and I wanted to see it going in the opposite direction. My experience out here has been completely different from my northbound hike. Not only going in a different direction, but also doing most of this trail solo. In fact, I've hiked all 981 miles solo. I've camped at most of the tent sites by myself. There's been a few tent sites that uh, other hikers have been at, but for the most part, I've been out here by myself. That's been a completely different experience. I personally love solo backpacking. It's my jam. I created a whole program about helping women build their confidence to want to get out for solo backpacking. The big reason why I'm deciding to end my hike here this year and then pick it up next year from this spot is I really wanted to go through the Sierra southbound. I've done the Sierra section twice now. Once going northbound on my PCT through hike in 2018 and then when I came back and hiked the JMT, the John Muir Trail last year, also going northbound. I wanted to see it going southbound and it's late September, almost October. The weather is definitely changing. So the last week I've been waking up with ice on my tent, camping at over eight, 9,000 feet. And then I typically get up at 6.30, start hiking at 7.30. And a lot of times where I'm camping, the sun doesn't even hit that spot of the trail. So it's extra cold. So I've been having to put all my clothes on to hike in and doing water crossings, which are super cold. And it's only going to get colder. It's going to get very remote which I love. The passes are going to get higher. It's going to get over 10,000 feet. With that weather change, me being by myself, I want my experience in the Sierra to be awesome and not have to worry about getting stuck in a snowstorm or thunder lightning storm, which could happen in the summer, but it's more likely to happen now. Also, there's a fair amount of river crossings. There's two bridges that are out. People have been fording the rivers. I just don't feel comfortable doing that by myself. When I come back and pick up this section next year. I can start it earlier in the season when it's warmer out, when there's more people out on trail, and feel more confident doing those water crossings and just traveling over the high passes. I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just skip the Sierra and go do the desert? Because that's not the hike that I wanted to do. I want to continue going south and I want to do the Sierra and then the desert. For me, my comfort zone, my experience, what I feel good about, I feel good about completely 981 miles of the trail this year. I definitely got my trail legs. I saw some amazing sights and met incredible people. Every town stop, I just really lived it up and just fully enjoyed the experience. And I want to continue to enjoy my PCT experience. Also to another reason why I've decided to end my hike here in Mammoth Lakes is at this point of the year, all the resupply stops in the Sierra are closing. Red's Meadow is closed, which would be the next resupply stop. The shuttle to get from Mammoth Lakes to Red's Meadow is no longer running for this season. VVR, that's closed 
closing less than a week. Mirror Trail Ranch, they're definitely gonna be closed. So it makes resupply a lot harder. It's not impossible. You can certainly go over any one of the passes to go into either Bishop, Independence, Lone Pine to resupply. But that's like an easy extra 20 miles of going over the pass, trying to get a hitch, and then resupplying, and then getting a hitch back to the trail, and then going back over the pass. I am going to be going home from here, from Mammoth Lakes, and coming back next year. That's my plan, and I feel really good about it. I, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like this trip was a complete success. I came out here with no expectations, and just really wanted to have that solo experience of being on one of my absolutely most favorite trails, and I did it. I didn't quit on a bad day. This is a decision I've actually been thinking about since Chester, California, so over 200 miles ago. I've got to do what feels good for me and what's comfortable and what's safe, and this feels really good for me. So what's next? A lot of you always ask me about trip logistics, like how to get to and from a trail when doing a long distance hike. In this video, I shared with you why I decided to go home. In my next video, I'll share with you how I got home. The getting home portion of my hike this year ended up being quite the adventure and maybe something you'll find useful when planning your own long distance hike, whether it's a through hike or section hike along the PCT. See you in the next video. Happy trails and keep on trucking. This means my hike this year is officially over. I've put on deodorant.